This idea of collaboration in the space program clearly set off alarm bells with MJ-12 and some parts of the administration. And the concern was, look, we have alien technology here. We don't want to share it with the Soviets. And that was the last straw. That was the thing that the national security state, the CIA, Alan Dulles, MJ-12, absolutely could not tolerate. I mean, my goodness, the idea of sharing UFO data with the Russians, no, I don't think that they were on board with this. And for MJ-12, sharing UFO secrets was a big problem. Their response may have been pulled from a fire. When and where, nobody knows. Like all MJ-12 documents, the authenticity of this burned memo is considered suspect by mainstream historians. But for UFO researchers, this nine-page document is explosive new evidence never before seen on national television. Page one refers directly to the president. As you must know, Lancer has made some inquiries regarding our activities, which we cannot allow. Each president is given a nickname of sorts, and this is for security reasons. And Lancer is absolutely John F. Kennedy. This was a classic conflict between the president and the intelligence community. And it was showing to be beyond the control of any president. And perhaps the most chilling page of the burned memo states, when conditions become non-conducive for growth in our environment and Washington cannot be influenced any further, the weather is lacking any precipitation. It should be wet. That's an old Soviet phrase. Wet work means that's when you kill people covertly. It's a very kind of careful way of describing if Kennedy doesn't play ball real soon, he's got to be taken out. So obviously what must have happened is Kennedy started asking about aliens, greys, UFOs, the whole thing. And MJ-12 took a vote and decided we have to get rid of this guy. If the burned memo is authentic, as believed by UFO experts, the conflict between JFK and those in possession of UFO secrets within our government were on a collision course. According to UFO investigators, since World War II, the U.S. government has known of countless UFO sightings and encounters that were probably caused by extraterrestrial beings. Yet every president has barred disclosure, except for one, John F. Kennedy. Might his desire to divulge secrets related to the UFO phenomenon set the stage for a dire confrontation? Kennedy was pursuing policies that really were at odds with the national security establishment. He was sticking his nose into the UFO subject, and that's the final straw. Can't let that happen. President Kennedy had expressed the view that the US government should be sharing technology. And if there was alien technology in the mix, that would have been on the table too. Some people might have gone to any lengths to prevent it. Though the authenticity of the burned memo is hotly debated, UFO researchers say there are telltale signs that prove it is genuine. Now, the burn marks can be manufactured, all right? There are ways that you can simulate a fire. But if you look at the patterns on the burn marks on these documents, you can see that they look like they were in a series on a pile uh, that was saved from a fire. Also, an analysis was done that shows that the red ink on these documents was made from a pigment that was prevalent in the 1960s. The other thing is that the paper was the predominant type of paper used by the US government in the 1960s. My conclusion is that these documents are legit. Adding to the mystery, the burned memo is claimed to have been mailed to a UFO investigator in 1999 by an unknown CIA agent who included a note saying he had worked for James Jesus Angleton, who in 1963 was the chief of CIA counterintelligence. James Angleton was one of the most powerful people in the agency for a, about 20 years. And he seems to be the one who authored this particular memo. And as head of counterintelligence, you've got to neutralize perceived threats 
coming at you from any direction. The Soviets, of course, but also, if need be, the president himself. This was a classic conflict between the US president and the deep state. This was a creation that had gone way out of control. An out of control battle between the president and the deep state over UFO secrets? Is it possible then that the events of November 22nd, 1963 were the deep state's solution to bringing this conflict to an end? Today, many believe the CIA was involved, if only indirectly, in a conspiracy to kill Kennedy. In fact, in 1978, the House Select Committee on Assassinations publishes their findings in the reinvestigation of JFK's murder that includes two bombshells. One, scientific acoustical evidence establishes a high probability that two gunmen fired at the president. And two, the committee believes that President John F. Kennedy was probably assassinated as the result of a conspiracy. President Kennedy had a desire to share with the American people some of the most highly classified information that we have about UFOs and extraterrestrials. As wild as it sounds, there are theories that the government may have been involved in Kennedy's assassination. And if that's the case, that would be very heartbreaking. If these documents are authentic, and I think they are, then the implications are really profound. It's that the people who are managing the secret of UFOs and extraterrestrials have deemed it so important they must not ever lose control over that narrative and over that information. Nothing can get in that way. Everything that threatens it must be eliminated. It's as if there are two separate histories. There's the official history, and then there's the secret history, what's really been going on, dating from the Second World War, through the Cold War, and to the present day. And the only way to resolve these two separate histories is by the government finally disclosing all the information that it has about the UFO phenomenon. 